Oh boy, now it's Victor Conte saying that Errol Spence Jr. might have developed altitude sickness, bro. Um, shout out to Showbiz. I saw this on his channel, man. Victor Conte having an interview with someone. And um, this dude said a week before the um, Crawford Spence fight, Spence got to Vegas, went up to Mount Charles, I think ran about five miles at 8,000 feet of elevation. And due to that, he would never recommend that because you can get altitude sickness. I feel like everybody and their mom has an excuse for Crawford's victory except Errol Spence. That's why I salute to Errol Spence. I have heard it all. I have heard he was on that ganja. I have heard he was weight drained. I have heard he had a broken rib. I have heard... Um, that, you know, that car accident, he wasn't fully healed. And now I'm hearing that this man had altitude sickness. I mean, I feel like all of these excuses, honestly, is taking away from Terrence Crawford's spectacular performance, bro, of a lifetime. The way that he went in there and put that lopsided beating on Errol Spence, man. The only reason I can think that these excuses are coming out, honestly, man, because I don't know what to think anymore. The only reason I feel like these excuses are coming out is to make the rematch more exciting, bro. To make people more engaged to this rematch because, believe it or not, there was a lot of people, especially in the boxing world, even casual fans that tuned in to watch the fight, how lopsided the fight was. A lot of people out there, except like super hardcore Errol Spence fans, a lot of people out there don't want to see the rematch, bro. Do not want to see the rematch. And I got to salute Errol Spence. He's been quiet, bro. He's been quiet. He said he's not going to make any excuses and he hasn't been making excuses. But the whole world is making excuses for him. And the only reason I could truly, truly think that these people are making all of these excuses is to try to build some drama. Try to get people to pay attention. Try to make people be more engaged to this rematch, bro, so people can tune in, they can sell tickets, they can sell pay-per-views, and they can make a ton of money how they did the first fight because I can't think of anything else. Like I said, bro, it's almost like you can write a book for how many excuses I've heard in these last, I don't know, five months, whatever it is. I mean, it's outrageous. It's outrageous, man. There's so many excuses. Now, do I think Errol Spence would be better at a, at a, at a bigger weight? Yes, I do, but I'm not going to make any excuses and I'm not going to take away from Crawford's greatness that, that night and the, and the spectacular performance, I would say, that he put on, bro, display against Errol Spence Jr. Now, this is my thoughts, my opinions. What do you guys think? You guys think all these excuses keep coming out to make people more interested in the rematch? That's 100% what I truly believe, bro. Altitude sickness... I mean, I heard that's a real thing. Like, you know, if, if, if you like, let's say you're in the NBA and, you know, a lot of people have a hard time playing in Denver because of the altitude. But I wouldn't think if someone goes and, and, and runs in a high altitude and comes back that one week later, they have altitude sickness, bro. I'm not the smartest man in the world, but that's just my opinion. I mean, the excuses keep coming. It's your boy Armin with Real Talk, man. You guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Happy New Year's to everybody. If we don't make no videos tomorrow, we out of here until the next one. Peace and blessings.